almost every week you hear about some new diet that claims to have found the secret to weight loss and that their way is the best way to lose weight and improve your health. Welcome, I'm Savage Master Janis, the How to Lose Weight for Life coach and the creator of the Live Your Weight In System. In this video, I will be answering the question, which is truly the best diet for weight loss? And by the way, when I say weight loss, I mean sustainable weight loss because pretty much any diet can help you lose weight if you follow their advice. But will you be able to keep the weight off after you lose it? So the real question is, which diet is the best when it comes to sustainable weight loss? And that is the question I will be answering in this video. In all my years in the weight loss field, I have found that the best way to tell if with a particular diet or weight loss program, you will be able to keep the weight off or not, is to ask yourself two simple questions about that diet or weight loss program. The first question is this. Whatever the diet or weight loss program is asking me to do in order to lose weight, can that action or actions become habitual? In other words, do those actions have the potential to be taken over by the subconscious mind so eventually you can keep taking those actions without having to think? For example, if a diet is asking you to count calories in order to lose weight, can count calories become a habitual behavior? The answer, by the way, is no because counting calories requires the conscious mind to do the counting, and that can never become a habitual behavior. Yes, counting calories can become easier over time because you can learn how many calories in different foods, but at the end of the day, some thinking will always be required. So any diet that asks you to count calories, chances are you will not be able to keep the weight off with that diet. Here's one of the uh, problems with having to think in order to make the right choices when it comes to healthy eating. Most people already have too many things that they need to be thinking about and having to constantly be thinking about their diet on top of everything else can easily lead to burnout. Let me put it in a different way. In order to engage the conscious mind, you need to have a reason to engage it. In other words, some form of motivation. In the beginning of any weight loss program, the desire to lose weight pretty much keeps everyone motivated to take all the necessary actions to lose weight. So even if the actions are not too convenient, the motivation to lose weight can inspire most people to keep taking those actions anyway. The problem with motivation is that it does not last forever. Sooner or later, as life happens, motivation runs out. And if the actions you were taking did not become habitual by the time motivation runs out, you will stop taking those actions. Even if you were able to maintain your motivation and stuck with the diet until you lost all the weight that you wanted, now you have a new problem. Your excess body weight was your driving force that helped you stick with the diet long enough to lose all the weight. But now that you lost the weight, you also lost your motivation to stick with the diet you were following. So again, unless all the dietary behaviors you were following in order to lose the weight became habitual by the time you lost all the weight, chances are you will revert back to your old eating patterns and regain the weight back. Don't take my word for it. Just look at the national statistics. 95% of the people who lose weight end up regaining the weight back. This is why it is crucial for whatever healthy behaviors you are following in order to lose weight, for those behaviors to have the potential to become habitual. In other words, they can be taken over by your subconscious mind. You see, once the subconscious mind takes over a behavior, no motivation is needed to keep repeating that behavior. It's like putting that behavior on autopilot and thus the maintenance of your health and weight. The second question you have to ask yourself about the diet or weight loss program that you're following is that whatever they are asking me to do, can I see myself doing that for the rest of my life? In other words, if a weight loss program is asking you to spend two hours working out uh, per day, five days a week, can you see yourself doing that for the rest of your life? Or if a diet is asking you to never have your favorite junk food, let's say chocolate for example, can you see yourself never having chocolate again? I know I can't. Or if the diet is asking you to count calories, can you see yourself counting calories for the rest of your life? 
as I explained earlier, chances are you will not be able to do that either. So if the answer is no, that you can't see yourself living the way that the weight loss program wants you to live in order to lose weight, then I can tell you with certainty that you will not be able to maintain the results from that diet or weight loss program for life. The bottom line is that when it comes to sustainable weight loss, what will greatly increase your chance of keeping the weight off after you lose it is your ability to stick with whatever you did to lose the weight. And what will greatly increase your chance of sticking with whatever you did to lose the weight is if the actions you took can be taken over by your subconscious mind. In other words, become habitual behaviors. Just look at the healthy regions around the world. You don't see them worrying about their diet or exercising, and yet they maintain their weight and good health, no problem. The reason is because all the healthy behaviors that are helping them maintain their weight and great health are habitual behaviors. In other words, no thinking is required to engage in those behaviors. So here's the answer to the question, which is the best diet for weight loss? The best diet for weight loss that you can maintain for life is the diet that helps you lose weight through actions that have the potential to become habitual. Here are some healthy behaviors that can help you lose weight that have the potential to become completely habitual with a little practice. Eating slowly and mindfully. Eating less often. Eating only when truly hungry. Most people mistaken cravings for hunger, by the way. Eating more fruits and vegetables. Eating less junk food. Notice, I did not say eliminate junk food. Walking regularly. I know for a fact that these behaviors can become habitual with the right approach because I have helped hundreds of people make them completely habitual through my Live Your Weight In system. And also, if you look at healthy regions around the world, you will notice that they all engage in these behaviors too. Any diet that requires any kind of counting, calculating, like counting calories, points, or measuring your food, chances are you will not be able to stick with those behaviors for life, and thus you will not be able to maintain the results that you achieve through those methods. If you'd like to learn more about my Live Your Weight In system, I've included a link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, hit the like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. Comment below if you want me to cover something specific, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you shared this video with your family and friends to help me spread the truth on how sustainable weight loss and good health can be achieved. Thank you. Thank you.